Hey guys, so the other day I uploaded a short clip showing how to play the guitar for my latest song, You. And I thought I want to make a longer video, give you more time to process it and stuff and kind of talk through, talk through it a little bit more. So it's a pretty simple song to play, to be honest. It is the same chord progression the whole way through and it's in C sharp, May, uh, it's in C sharp minor, the song. And so the first chord we are gonna start off with is just this bar chord of the C sharp minor. So I'm gonna tell you the chord progression and I'm gonna tell you the little lead part that is playing in the background for the song. So anyway, the chords, we've got C sharp and all these songs, all these chords are playing for four beats. So you've got one, two, three, four, A, and then B, just a bar chord, and then E major. And the next time around, it is pretty much the same thing, but on the last bit where we've had the E playing for four beats, Instead, what we're going to do is play a different version of the E chord and for two beats, and then we're going to add in a D sharp diminished chord. So it starts off the same, so C sharp minor, A, B, and we're going to take this same position of the fifth string bar chord and we're going to slide it up here to the E and that goes for two and then we move down one and then we got this weird little diminished shape here I don't know if you can see that here and it resolves nicely to the C sharp minor so I will play the whole thing. Second bit. Then that high E. So it's a pretty simple progression. You can add in some little chord extensions and stuff. I think just when I was playing, I just wanted to use the simple chords. I might have added some sevenths or whatever in there, but that is the chord progression for the song. And then we've got this little lead part that is playing in the intro and a few times in and out of the song. So it starts here. So it starts on that G sharp and then we're going up to the C sharp. So I'll play it and then I'll try my best to explain it. So it's pretty simple to be honest. So you are coming in on the the one and of the beat. So it's one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so it's just playing on the eighth notes and you're coming in uh, on the one and beat. So for the first three times you're playing it, it's just that same thing. Add a little bit of vibrato, make it a little bit spicier. And getting that slide is, uh, is important into it, so it's not just... It doesn't sound right, you need to get that slide into it. And just be careful not to overshoot it going... 
or something. So work on the accuracy on the slide. I'm still working on the accuracy of the slides and stuff as well. And then the next time around, we just go up to this note here and then back to the C sharp. Uh, the reason that I lead and I play this with the middle finger is just if you're sliding up and you're here, you're in a good position to go up here and to also go down, down there to the B. If you use this finger here, can sound a little bit staccato and it doesn't flow as well where if you're if you're already there and then it can sound just personal preference you might find that doing it with your pinky finger is the better way to do it but the way I do it is using this middle finger but that is pretty much the full song it's a pretty simple song but I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you've listened to the song. Let me know if you found this video helpful. There's gonna be a lot of guitar used in my next song that is coming up for September. So if you enjoy seeing this kind of stuff where I am explaining the musicality and stuff behind it a bit more, let me know and I can make a video like this for the song that is coming out in September. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.